Oh, sorry. Have to, have to <laughs> uh, have you got any video games or anything, mate? I have that. You have, yeah? Okay, brilliant. Sorry, after. Uh, anything, mate. Anything. Yeah? Oh, brilliant. Cheers, mate. Uh, cheers, one, cheers, two, Xbox. Nice one. Do you know how much you're after? Yeah. So you can put everything through. Some yeah. stuff in there. So. Yeah. Yeah. No worries. I'll grab a bundle, mate, and we'll work something out, yeah? Do you want me to move out your way? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate there's a lot going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There are 10. UK, UK 10. Come on. Five pounds for that. So that's those two, so. Sam, have you? Sam? I'm looking for these all mine here, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, UK 10. This part, yeah, so. I'm 12, we're just Oh, no. No, I'm 10, mate. Yeah, UK 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Sold, mate, the PSP ones, you buy them? These ones, oh, this is my pile over yeah, here, yeah, mate. So, free, yeah, 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 crack on, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how much do you want? Yeah, these, yeah. spread them up here. Yeah, got the PS2s. They're PS2s, PS4s, yeah. and PlayStation 1s. One. Oh, the PlayStation 1s, there you go. Um, so, it, it it depends how much you want on all of these, because obviously if if, if you ask it, because the, the ones that I really want are probably these ones there, mm -hmm. but like if you're doing a deal, I'll, I'll take. Well, you, so. you, you tell me, because you start with that and then... Um, <laughs> it's hard, yeah, it's hard, I mean, gonna, it's hard they, to they, say, they, mate. They go, obviously, you know they go, obviously. Yeah, 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 of course, I know. Your first one is that, and choose all, you know, so... And, it's hard to say. You got no idea of what, what you're looking for in each of them. Give us a give us an idea of what I'm playing with. What for well, all of them? Yeah. Thirty quid the lot. Thirty quid. Uh, I mean, the only dual cases are broken with the actual games are actually fine off the immaculate. So. Yeah, I don't know. It's just where the cases are a bit damaged on these ones. Uh, If not, come back later, I don't mind. I no, no, I'm just tr trying to figure out what I want to pay for them. Um, I think the PlayStation ones I'll leave, mate, because okay. the, the cases are just a bit, okay. bit damaged on them. Sure. Um, how much for, for them ones there, then, mate? What do you reckon? Go on. Uh, what are you saying? Three, six, nine, twelve. Right. Fifteen quid? Mm. Sorry, mate. Uh, tenner? Nah, come on. You, there you go, there you go. Yeah, no, no, fair enough. Uh, you special shoes No, no, I appreciate no, that. No, you timed it well, obviously. So. Uh, go on then, mate. Fifteen, yeah? Thank yeah. You. Morning. How much are the games, mate? Uh, the Xbox and PlayStation 3 games, £1 each. Yeah? Uh, the PS4 ones are £5 each. 
five each, yeah? It's not got a disc in it, mate. <laughs> that one's got a disc missing as well. It's uh, meant to have two discs, that one. Yeah, you got the install disc and then the play disc. Yeah. <laughs> Take this one, cheers, mate. How much are the games in here, sorry? How much are the games? Well, five five each. 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 Uh, yeah, I know. How much off from the, uh, the Game Boy as well? How much is that one, mate? Game Boy. Don't know if it's charged. I just don't think it's charged. There's no charger with it. How much is that? Two pound, please, darling. I don't think it goes through that. Want to be in the pub? Don't talk about romping. Just don't take the track. Quick. You tap five on that, mate? Uh, go on, then. Yeah? Sure. How much is that? Pocket work. Silly, it? It's just an empty case, mate. Box, yeah, pound. Say 50p for it? Yeah, go on. Yeah. See, mate. <coughs> oh, has he just picked up? Hmm. Did you just sell one of them? I'm sure there was a wrestling game I just saw. Wrestling game? Oh, yeah, there it is, yeah. Mate. You're blind as a bat, I am. Take that one 50p, please. Pound each then, mate. Pound, yeah. Sealed. Have you ever tried diamond art? Yeah. So 50p for that one? Yeah. Yeah. Is it in there, babe? Yeah, it's just... There is a game, yeah. <laughs> but I promise you, it's all been sealed up since I haven't even unsealed it. And we are back YouTube. For anyone who's returning, thank you. And for everyone who's new, welcome. I'm Mitch, and this is Retro Rummage. I'm the game my channel is buying games, DVDs, Blu-rays, 
any electric items I get my hands on at car boot sales, Facebook marketplace, or charity shops for a cheap price. So I'm getting traded into CX at a high price so I can build my own gaming collection. So yes, back with part two of probably last Sunday's boot sale um, footage. Basically, yeah, like I said in my previous video, there was so much footage. Um, obviously, one of the stalls in this thing, I was there for quite a while. Um, and I just thought, you know, it's best to split it up over two videos rather than having like a 45, 50 minute video, something like that. But let me know in the comments if you prefer, you know, or not prefer because I can't do it all the time, but, you know, if you're happy for them to be longer episodes, should we say. Um, but yeah, really, really good um, pickups. There's one, obviously, bar outstanding bargain here that I'm probably going to keep for my own collection. And obviously, I'll get into that, that as why, uh, as to why. Um, but yeah, the, the first pickups, uh, I believe, were, if I can remember... Well, I'll go over, obviously, the, the big one to start with, and this is why sometimes, I mean, it is a, it's a good, it's going to be a good deal, but maybe it weren't as good as I was thinking at the time, but this is why, so, so basically, I was walking past this guy, and I said, to, uh, it was actually, uh, he was looking at the DVD, I think he had some DVDs, and I was looking through that, and he actually said to me, oh, is there anything you're after in particular, because he was just setting up, and I said, oh, have you got any video games, and he said, oh, yeah, yeah, I've got a bag. And obviously, as soon as they say that, your adrenaline starts rushing, you're getting all caught up in the moment. Uh, obviously, as you could see in the footage, people were standing over me going, oh, you finished with them games, all this and that. And it's like, you you know, oh, well, me anyway, I'm, I kind of like break, break under, the <laughs> under the pressure of not necessarily wanting to lose out on something, but at the same time, I don't want to overpay. Do you, do you know what I mean? Um, and I think, I think in this instance, I, my, my money's going to be safe. And, and how I, I'll tell you how, how I kind of figured out that whilst I was doing it uh, in the moment. But basically, as you could see from the footage, he had all kinds of games. Um, there was one where it had a different disc in it, but I kind of knew that already. Um, but yeah, I think I paid £15 total. Now, some of you might have said I was silly for knocking back all of those PlayStation 1 games, because I think originally he said £30 for all of those PlayStation 1 games. Now, unfortunately, for me, the cases were all in bad nick, and there wasn't no standout titles there that I really needed. I did want, I think it was Busby 3D, but it didn't have the manual, and uh, yeah, like I said, the case was in not great condition. Uh, there were some other ones there, like Scooby-Doo, I think, and NBA, that I probably would have in my collection, but again, if they were in, in better condition. But that's why I decided against them. Um, they were picked up later, so, you know, someone did take them. Um, whether or not he sold them to them for 15 quid, I don't know. But I decided against them. But I did pick up these. So, um, yeah, first one I've got is Big Mother Truckers 2, Truck Me Harder. <laughs> but it is, I don't know if you can see there, sealed. Now, a little bit of it is coming away at the bottom. Uh, <laughs> it's got a £5.91 uh, sticker on it. I'm hoping that I could probably get a little bit more than that. So my thought process was, if I could get a tenner for that, because obviously it is sealed, if, if not more, um, then obviously I've only spent five pound on the rest of these games here. So that's that's my thought process behind it. Um, I've had a look on eBay and there are some ranging from anything from five up to 10 and some have even sold for more um, in sealed condition. So we'll see, hopefully I'll get a tenner for that. Um, I've left that sticker there because I didn't want to try if try and rip it off and then tear the, the thing because I think chopping value for that is maybe like 50p, something like that, very, very cheap. But the rest of them, I'm hoping that, like I said, I would have only paid five pound for these. But yeah, the first one is Wii Sports Resort. Now it did have a dis different disc in it, but if anyone remembers, ages ago I picked up a really dirty uh, copy of Wii Play, and it had this in there for like 50p or something like that. Um, but yeah, that chops in for seven or six pound, I believe. Um, got Call of Duty Ghosts on the PlayStation 4. That chops in for, um, six pound. Minecraft PlayStation 4 edition, that chops in for 10 pound, I believe, um, or eight pound. Reservoir Dogs on the PlayStation 2. Uh, I've got this in my collection already. I think that chops in for like two pound or something. And then Call of Duty Black Ops 3, um, again on the PlayStation 4, and that chops in for three pound. And then yeah, Rugrats Royal Ransom 
on the Nintendo GameCube. Complete. I think that chops in for like three or four pound, but that'll be going into my collection. Um, so yeah, GameCube collection is getting bigger. So so like I say, and in, in my mind, I'm going to be paying a, a fiver for those games. And I think, I mean, all of them there trade in for like 20 to 30 pounds, something like that. So, I mean, you know, if I can't sell that one for anything, at least I'm doubling my money. So, but in hindsight, you know, maybe I, sh I should have, st st you know, stuck to my guns and said a tenner. But... Yeah, like I said, I got caught up in the moment. Let me know how you react in those moments. Do you get swept up in it as well? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not good when I get excited, basically. <laughs> but yeah, still some good, still some good games there. Um, and then I think that was it from the first boot sale. Uh, or was it? Yeah, from the first boot sale. From the second boot sale, again, a game that I'm picking up all the time. Call of Duty World of War on the... Uh, Xbox 360, 50p paid. I believe that chops in for £4. Got Crazy Taxi on the PlayStation 2, uh, platinum version. Paid 50p and that chops in for four, uh, sorry for £2. I actually still need this game. I was thinking about maybe getting it on the GameCube because I've heard it's probably a little bit better on the GameCube compared to the PlayStation 2. But let me know in the comments which, which is the best, um, best, best platform for Crazy Taxi. But it's a game I still need to add to my collection, but obviously I don't, I don't do platinum. Um, and then, yeah, after speaking with my friend Scott at Marathon Gaming, um, he said that there's some wrestling titles to look out for, so I'm paying attention to them more. I went and looked at these, and I could see this was there. Had a look. Um, it wasn't as worth as much as I thought. I think he originally wanted a pound for it or something like that. But we've got uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 on the Xbox 360. Paid 50p for that. Chops in for pound fifty. And then, yeah, got a just a, a case only because the next pickup that I got, there was a load of um, DS games there, and I was going through them, and the stall afterwards, I picked this up for 50p, and I was hoping that I could go back and maybe get a deal if they had it, but I don't, I, well, I couldn't see it anyway. Um, but hopefully, I'll pick that up in the, the future because I think that's a five or six pound chopping. But yes, on to the absolute bargain of the day, which is. A pink, or pearl, I think it's pearl pink this one is called, Game Boy Advance SP. In really good condition for how old it is. Obviously there are some scratches, um, you know, as you would expect on this kind of console for how old it is. Now they said £5 because they didn't know if it charged. Now I do, or I do have a Game Boy Advance SP. And it does work, so yeah, five pound paid for that. Um, obviously without the charger. If I wanted to trade that in, I think I could get maybe 45 pound, um, which I think is the unbox version, which I do believe you would get for this one. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep that because this is the Game Boy Advance that I have, um, which does work, but it's in absolutely terrible condition. Basically, uh, I don't know if you can see there, it was my little brother's from back in the day um, and my little brother, to put it nicely, was a pure ADHD kid. Like, you, you couldn't control him. And <laughs> when, he, when he was losing, he'd bite it and all sorts. There's all like little teeth mark in there. Um, thankfully, he's, how old is he now? He's 23, 24, and he's calmed down now and he's, uh, he's turned into a, a proper adult. But yeah, back in the day, he was an absolute nightmare. Surprisingly, the, the screen is in good condition on this. Obviously, it does all work. Um, but I've sold that, basically, kind of like spares and repairs to my friend, um, as he's gonna do a case swap on it, which I'm gonna get more than what I paid for that. So in my mind, I'm swapping that. Well, I'm getting, I'm getting a free Game Boy Advance SP, and I'm swapping that for the cash back, if that makes sense, plus a little bit more. Um, so in my, my opinion, that's a really good deal. I'm going on holiday uh, in a couple of months. I think I'll buy a copy of um, Cart Only, though, uh, Pokemon Fire Red, and that will do me for the aeroplane uh, ride and maybe around the pool if I'm not too drunk. <laughs> but yeah, really, really happy with that. It's not every day that you're able to pick up a Game Boy Advance SP for £5. Uh, obviously, I've got a charger from, from this one, so yeah, it's, it's good to go. Yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, everyone. Let me know in the comments if there was anything I missed, if there was anything you would have grabbed. Um, but if not, take care, everyone, and I'll see you all in the next one.